We're going to start with a look out at the tropics. Aaron has weakened a bit. It's a category two, but still expecting strong winds, especially near the core of the storm, obviously. But they will be far reaching even across parts of the East Coast, especially around the outer banks of North Carolina and Bermuda. Thankfully, though, the storm is going to basically thread the needle between the two land areas with the almost more indirect impacts from the high seas and gusty winds. A little bit more of a rain issue for Bermuda. Elsewhere out in the Atlantic, the more unknowns are these two waves. Now what's interesting is the one that's in the central Atlantic has the better chance of organizing but is not looking to be anything right now. And the one that has less of a chance of organizing Far more thunderstorm development around this system, which has now been designated as Invest 99. As far as 99 goes, has a low chance of organization. Most of the models really don't keep it going far beyond the central Atlantic. Conditions become a little bit more hostile. So this is the one that's of more interest. Again, 99 as far as we're concerned. Next couple of days, there could be some organization before most models indicate it will dissipate over the central Atlantic. Notice by the weekend, a a lot of the models kind of end their model run because there isn't anything going on after that. Now, as far as the area in the central Atlantic, which is not yet designated an invest, it right now is unorganized. What we're likely going to see is some organization, maybe not until this weekend. Now, if you remember yesterday, I was showing the same graphic here, the low pressure centers comparing the GFS and the Euro. It both had more of an organized system at this same point Saturday. Now the model's starting to kind of decrease the chance of development. Maybe as we get later into early next week, but notice also the models do still kind of split, a general turn into basically where Aaron is going, but neither of those showing a system nearly as organized nor nearly as powerful as Aaron. So right now the areas that we are keeping an eye on in the Atlantic are not showing great signs of becoming our next named storms, maybe briefly, but wouldn't last for very long. Now, beyond that, the Climate Prediction Center is highlighting the area as we head toward the end of August, start of September for development. Not a big surprise, this is the main development region. And we could see some areas in the main development region going into the first days of September, but could also see something trying to form either in the Bay of Campeche or near the northwestern Gulf, or excuse me, northwestern Caribbean. So anything a little bit closer to home as we head toward the start of September usually has more more of my attention than the systems that we have weeks to watch coming off of Africa. So a lot of time to watch those and anything that may try and form in a couple of weeks. Again, we'll be watching maybe into early September for some development a little bit closer to home. Maybe that chance is right now a little bit about around 20%. Head